Okay, this is part two of the WAMP tutorial. We just did Apache. Now for the MySQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and MySQL is the database software that we use to interpret that language. And we're going to download, I believe it's version 5.5. We'll just go to Google, type MySQL, downloads, and it's going to be the community server. We don't need the cluster, any of these other ones. Community server. And again, we're going to be using the MSI installer. 5.5, make sure you have the right platform selected, you know, if you're using Linux but this is Vista so and the 32-bit even if you have 64-bit use the 32-bit it'll be easier there's less glitches you won't run into any compatibility issues if you use 32-bit because it's backwards compatible anyways with 64-bit so And again, just run it. I probably should have picked Chicago. I don't know why I clicked San Jose. and it's pretty straightforward install the only thing I'm going to need to walk you through is the configuration of the accept blindly accept don't read this even though it says you're giving your soul to MySQL typical install launch the instance configuration wizard okay this is where we need to pay attention you're gonna choose detailed configuration on a developer machine multifunctional these remain default decision support system will be that port number all these stay default 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 and this is where you'll you'll set your password when you're logging into my SQL now this if all goes well we'll see check 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 a pause and then a check um, sometimes you'll get a red X here or a red X there or if you're unlucky it'll say not responding now I've had this issue before and it gets pretty hairy because we have to uninstall we have to go into some settings and it's only if you get a red X here luckily it, it responded sometimes it'll hang up here it'll freeze completely this will not even give you an X or anything it'll just not respond you will have to close it reinstall all of that if you guys get an X at start service um, we can go click back I can't do it now but the, the previous window asks you the name of the service you just rename it and if you get an X and apply security settings that's another issue you can contact me at my email and I can help you I can walk you through fixing that it's pretty it's kinda complicated but for some reason it happens and the only reason it worked this time is because this is a fresh install of Vista 
I was using Windows 7 and I got those X's every time I tried to install my SQL no matter what XX froze all kinds of problems no matter what version I would install and I was able to fix it but it was a it was a lot of work and it was a long process and I don't really remember to be honest but if you need the help contact me and I'll dig up those notes and we'll figure it out so luckily this worked okay now let's test the install <clears throat> it'll be in your start menu okay it should be this simple now the password you created okay now we're in so now we will create a database Um, for instance, test. The database is going to be named test. Oh, of course. Test is the default database, so we need to come up with a new name. How about test2? <laughs> Alright, now we need a table under our database. Um, subtest, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Use test2. We have to use the database before we can insert a table. Now this, you're going to have to study SQL, we're going to have to, so you can understand all the, you know, the language and these, these commands but um, I'm just going over the installs right now so I'm just giving a brief overview of just setting up a table in a database for when we start using PHP I can show you how it's all integrated so I'm just kinda skimming over this right now so don't worry okay now we need a table for our database um, let's say movies use test two. and here I am setting up the columns of the table so the structure for this movie table I'm gonna have the title um, maybe the main actor and the year if my syntax is correct if not I'm gonna have to write this over again okay got it now let's see what I have the asterisk represents all so it will select everything from movies oh I need to insert the data <laughs> insert into um, Now this is where I, we actually set up the data. The title, let's say, will be Jaws. The actor, um, wow, I probably should know the guy's name before I use that movie. Um, Roy Scheider. The year, I believe, was 73. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. data too long for actor okay actor I only gave five characters why did I do that oh great okay so let's let's just put Roy uh, and I think Jaws was okay 
that's what our database looks like right now. The title of the movie's Jaws, the actor's Roy, the year's 1973. Okay, so that's set. Um, I'll set up a second one. Let's say, um, let's just make up a movie. How about Potato, starring Dave in 1980? All right, now, that's what our database looks like. We have two movies, two actors, two years. If we just want to find the movie that was made in 1980, the keyword is where year equals 1980 and it will only return potato if we want just the movies made in 73 we put where year 73 and you can put where actor equals Dave or where title equals potato as well and those are simple queries in SQL and that's it for this tutorial part 3 is gonna have PHP and the PHP language is going to call some of these queries through a website so you can actually this is the back end of the code and PHP is going to allow us to have a nice form a nice looking user interface where we can just type it in a space and click search and it'll bring it back out through a website instead of this nasty looking black and white command prompt alright thank you and I'll set up video 3